Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about another application layer protocol which is uh, POP3. POP3 stands for Post Office version 3. And this protocol we use it to retrieve a message from a mailbox on the email server. So uh, POP3 follows the uh, client server model. So we have a client process in one side and a server process on the uh, other side. So for example, I have here a POP3 client okay which is a client process running on one computer and i have a pop3 server which is also another process running on the image server of course these two processes uh, run on computer and this computer should be reachable across a uh, network okay this is what i'm representing here is a network now assume you are sitting on your pc and would like to know if there is any message in your mailbox uh, in your email on the mailbox of uh, related to your account so assume here you have a mailbox okay you want to check if there is any email so the first thing what will happen when you click on receive you click uh, you start your uh, email uh, program click on receive to see if there is any mail uh, available uh, in the uh, in the mailbox on the email server so your client pop3 client is going to establish tcp connection with the email server but this TCP connection will go to port 110, 110. So POP3 uh, is a protocol, POP3 service is a protocol which uses the default port 110. So of course on the client side, the uh, process will be assigned a port number by the operating system and port number in, the, in our example is 50,000. And this TCP connection will go directly, will connect to the POP3 server at, at uh, port number 110 and this port is used by the pop3 server so once you establish connection at port 110 you are telling the um, the server where pop3 server is running that you want to talk directly to the pop3 protocol and then once you establish this connection the tcp connection then you can send uh, commands to retrieve messages so you can uh, send commands basically to uh, uh, check if you have any message okay and if any message is available on the mailbox then uh, the pop3 server is going to service is going to send you these messages so you can uh, receive them on your uh, pop3 clients you can receive them on your computer and read them now initially basically the most important thing related to pop3 protocol is that once you request a mail message, this message will, uh, will be downloaded on your computer. It will download to your computer and it will be saved locally on your computer. So the message will, will stay on your computer and it will be uh, erased from the POP3 server. Also, although there are some mechanisms to keep the message on the POP3 server for some time before it gets erased, but once, but initially, once you download it, uh, you download your message, you, you retrieve your message using POP3 protocol, the message will be downloaded from the email server or let's say POP3 server and it will be saved, the copy of the message will be saved on your computer which is playing the role, acting the role of an email client. So the POP3 client is going to save the message locally on your computer, on your hard disk and uh, like this you can browse later on your messages offline you don't need to connect to the email server or let's say pop3 server to read them again so no need for that pop3 servers allows you to read the messages offline because it simply download all the messages from the server pop3 server from the email server to the email uh, client okay thank you